uh, our Amagi we play here. And let's have some fun, huh? Well, today's the last day for replays, Adlin, so if you want me to cover it, gotta be now. Oh, a Hyoga game, okay. We can do that one. We could definitely do that one. Alright, let's go. And Dark Lord with a ranked Holland game. Hot Hyoga action. All right, um, SAT, are you okay if we did uh, the Holland game after? Is that all right with you? You can I'm say no, of course. It. Okay. And we covered a bunch of your games, so it might be nice to get some other people's in. Okay, so this is Yak Diego and the Amagi. Now, Yak Diego said that this is a stock Amagi. He just got the ship, and I think you said this was your first game in the Amagi. Um, and it's an epic replay, so this is Stock Hall. Got it. Your middle tier, not a lot of cruisers for you to beat up on. Now, Maki has um, 16 inch guns, and it's got five turrets. These are dual turrets, so 10 total barrels. Yes, Odland is a streamer as well, so you should be able to see his link in chat there. Check him out if you'd like. Absolutely. Oh, Helena. Hard turning out. Oh, are you going to catch him? Nope. Uh, oh, planes. Okay. Planes for the subs. Are you guys happy that Wargaming is pulling subs? I don't know about you guys. I, I'm, I'm happy. I am thrilled. I do not, beyond do not enjoy playing against subs. Thrilled. Could I? yes, deadliest. They're pulling subs with the start of the next patch. Subs are going to be pulled from the game. They're going to rework that one, and they're going to try to find another way to bring them back in. But they're Wargaming is not happy with uh, the current implementation of subs. So, um, kudos to Wargaming for actually listening and saying, hey, this might not be working. You've confused yourself by sending it to replace, no worries. So that's good. Um, let's see what happens next with, in regards to subs, but... Okay, what do we got? Nope. Mines? Mines, 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 mines. Oh, he disappeared. Vigo is on a winning streak in his Holland and Mr. Gotland. Nice. Subs are too weak. See, I feel they're just too damn annoying. They're not for they're not very well designed. Flipping your gun oh, Citadel on the mines, good. Z23 is dead. Goes. I'm not sure what that plane was for. Deadly says, I don't mind subs for the most part, but I know they're excessively frustrating in the hands of someone skilled with them. Yeah. DCP to throw off the uh, ping. Which means uh, now curious. you can be set on fire. Uh, why are you turning around? It looks like you still have some good targets to shoot at. Yeah, I was curious about that as well. You're trying to bomb on the ping direction. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, why did you turn around here, Yak Diego? What was the what was the thinking behind that? Oh mines, yes. Yes. You were concerned being focused fired and the sub. Okay. A little too short there. 
You don't need to be kiting away at full speed, though. I think you'd be better off slowing down now. The Karachi YOLO is in front of you, so he's going to take all the hits. So, if you're going to kite away, that's fine. Just kite away at, like, a half. Hmm. I don't think you would have died to the focus fire. Probably like you not. Would just, you just keep going north, uh, Bismarck's, you'll be outside of Bismarck's secondaries. Mines would, you can just shoot at Mines if he doesn't like you that much. In other words, he, he should be in Charlie 6 right now, right? Because then he'd have broadside shots on the Bismarck. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he could even uh, switch fire to the Bismarck that's on G8 if he needed to. So he lost a lot of time um, turning his guns the complete opposite direction. And now you're down a couple of ships uh, to boot. Uh oh, Z44 right in front of you. Right in front of you. Your secondaries are alerting you to the presence. Forget the forget following your shots. <laughs> a hundred and eight people and only nine have entered the giveaway. Oh my goodness! Exclamation point ticket, ladies and gentlemen. Type that in. Oh, Tago clutch torpedoes right there. Yep. Type in exclamation point ticket to get in for our giveaway, guys. You have to be present and a follower to win, and that's all we ask. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, Duckman. You are not allowed to enter anymore. Oof. Oof. Rip, Duckman. The last three winners of subscriber camos, and he's two of them. <laughs> Mini Hannibal has a love-hate relationship with the Amagi. Really? I enjoyed the Amagi a lot. Um, but I, I actually spec her for secondaries. I find that she's a lot of fun brawling. I don't like her at range and stuff. Once again, pinging along the, uh, the ping um, section, bombing along the ping section, I should say. So, okay. She does get smashed when, especially at tier 10 games. That's true. Yeah, I would agree with you. Don't don't let yourself get torped. I like the idea of just getting the heck out of here. Especially because right now, you're down by a ship. You need to conserve your health. And you need to find a way back into this game. Uh, you tried to do that going into sea, but obviously that, that salmon is right there. And task kills a shot. See you down. Two ships now. I think someone enjoyed Izuma more than you did Amagi. Really? It's interesting. Why why was that the case, Criminox? Criminox. I mean Magi's got great guns. Absolutely. The one thing I liked about the Amagi was just her speed. The fact that she can relocate quickly as needed. It's kinda sexy. And uh, you want to shoot the Abmoral. Four, oh, there he is, there he is. I was going to say four, four, not found. Nope, there he is. He's turning, though. Oh, oh my god, triple Citadel. Almost killed him. 500 hit points left until he hit a super heal. Wow, that was close. That should have been a kill. Absolutely should have been a kill. Okay, what do you do now? Don't worry, watch. I'm watching. You're continuing to put this up. Uh, the uh, depth charge. And I've never thought of doing this before, so this is very interesting for for me. Uh, why haven't you DCP'd that so the sub the torpedoes don't track into you? I feel like that was a little late to DCP. Now 
Now you're down by three ships. Quite a bit of health. Oh, hey, there's a sub. This is where you wish you had that death charge plane. Right? So in other words, by spamming the plane so much, he isn't able to actually shoot the sub when it's detected, right? Pretty much. Salmon is low on, on health, though, so maybe you can predict. Let's watch. That was a good well, turnout, though. I'm amazed that you survived that. Alright, heals ready. Don't use it, obviously. You're not going to get much out of it. Hey, look, it's your friendly Albemarle. And he's turning. Why is he turning? Yeah, that was a uh, totally expected. Bismarck dies to mines his fires. Yeah, this is interesting. I've never seen people using planes in, in such a predictive fashion. It's a neat idea. His hit, his blind hit rate leaves a lot to be desired, though. Well, absolutely, sure. But it's relatively new, and it's something that, you know... Something that's worth trying, at least. You're not gonna get this cap if that guy hits you. He missed? Can you imagine if pings removed, um, capture point? That'd be hilarious. So you can see him trying to line up the ping direction. Hmm. I mean, the salmon is so low, you might as well, right? Like. I mean, it's fine, but at the same time, you shouldn't let it distract you from shooting at other ships. Hmm. Hmm. True. Because there's a couple of times where he should have been focusing on Amy or dodging other other ships, and yet he's trying to mm -hmm. bomb this up. Like, I don't think you've hit him blind this entire game. Nope. He did dodge the sub's torpedoes there, though, because I think the sub used the non-homing variant of the torps. Hopefully those will hit the island. I think they will. He got four hits because the sub was spotted at the end of, at the very start. He hasn't hit a bomb. He has not hit a depth charge since. Hmm. Still, it, it might just be one hit that he needs, and that'll take him out. Oh, why are you broadside to the Zimo? Wow, that came in close. Okay, and you got the sin up you might have to worry about too. Oh, absolutely, yeah. A lot of it was done to, to keep them down so they couldn't uh, do their job, right? Absolutely. All right, you should be able to get him here, but just to be sure, you're going to shoot him, aren't you? I would too. He's got no energy left. Nope, never mind. Yes, that is that is when the death charges actually work because you know where the sub is. Sure, sure, but I mean he's not really charged or he doesn't really lose anything just luck chucking the depth charges. Other than like you said, wasting some time uh, that he could have been spending focused on something else, right? Yes. Oh, the synop. Why is he using he? He's waiting for the new sashimi. I guess so. Hmm. I like the decision to shoot up. Okay, still bounce though. That shot should have been taken at his bow. Instead of upper belt. 
Yes, the bow is 26 millimeters, so you can easily overmatch that. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pause it here, and the stream's going to catch up for a second. But uh, what you're saying, essentially, from his angle, almost aim to where the number one turret is, and Synop is reversing, right? So yep. that way you can hit that, that bow, you'll penetrate it, you'll do more damage, obviously, than bouncing. Yep. Okay. Something, it's a very important feature in Overmatch. Usually, if your battleship is higher tier than an enemy ship, uh, than an enemy battleship, you can usually overmatch it. It's a general rule. So, mm. instead of waiting for Nusushimi to detonate it, you could have just punched through his bow for about 7 to 10k. But can we appreciate the fact that the Synop did detonate? F's in chat for the detonation, as Sin Boto says. I agree, dude. That was awesome. That's clutch, actually, because now uh, you can get in position to deal with this Crotchiolo. The yeah, task is but... coming into C-Cap as well. At no point was Sin a broadside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the torpedo probably would have sunk. A lot of times I find detonations just happen when they're already dead, right? But you never know. Nice hit there. Ouch. That looked painful. That looked painful. Last salvo detonations are the best. My favorite are last salvo citadels. When somebody is like 200 hit points from death and then you citadel them. It's like, wow, I did, I did good there. Oof, he turned. Silly crotchy yellow turned. Hmm. Oh, and there you go. I was about to say, he's, he's continuing to shoot you and you were showing a good amount of side there. Uh, but you were kind of sandwiched between the Azumo and the Crotchiolo there. And you can see what happened as a result. But that's okay, because Deadliest gets another death pick, and he loves his death picks. Get a little bit of wave action here. How's that look, huh? Kind of feeling it. Kind of feeling it. I call it the Crotchiolo. Yeah, it's Crotchiolo or Crotchiolo or something yeah. like that, but... This is big brain uh, time. Caraccio. Big brain time. Big brain time. And the flag. That's right, Yak Diego. Yeah, Close once enough. you pass the once you pass the island, and after the shot on the uh, Caraccio, you should have just stopped there. Yep. Turn or... hard and try to angle to both. Yep. 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 Exactly. Or I would say even angle to the Azumo. Um, with the idea of being to turn hard left and get out of there, but because you kept going forward, you kept giving that Crotchiolo a shot on you. Yep, and that just so happens to hit your Citadel. Since Caraccio was going up north, he would have lost shots on you, so you would have been actually safe. Yep, in other words, you made it easier for you to die, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> But hey, you know what? You're still gonna win. You still had a good game. Five citadels, two kills, 164,000 damage. Respectable. Do not know why the Nushishimi wants to shoot here at such low health. Um, he's just gonna get himself killed. Wow. Can you imagine if he died? Right? If he died and your taco dies, obviously that's that's game. Where the hell is your sub? Oh, he's down there. Oh no, the sub is the sub is going into C Cap where the destroyer is. It's I don't know right. about you guys. It's one on points. I always get frustrated when I see somebody uh, like see a, a, a sub charging a destroyer. Like somebody that, that charges something that that counters you. You know what I mean? Like, why? Why would you do this? It makes no sense to me. I would totally do it if I wasn't a destroyer. If I hmm. wasn't a submarine. 
Why? If you're a good enough player, you just surface and you shotgun the destroyer in the face. Oh, right, 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 right. Forgot about that play. For 99% of the players that do this, do this in a sub, they don't know how to do it, so they just get uh, real lifed. Mm -hmm. But for the 1% that do know how to play subs, they shotgun everyone in the face, and that's fun. Epic Sharnhorst replaying Discord. Um, I'm guessing that's going to be on shards. Uh, and we could definitely do that one next, yeah.